Hey guys, Art again. Uh, here's part two of the molar, of the eight molar tubes that I received today. I'm gonna go ahead and test them now with the maxi matcher, and uh, we'll go over what the numbers are. Um, real quick, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give a drill or a, uh, a, a a a video tutorial on the maxi matcher. But I am gonna talk a little bit about it so you guys can understand. Uh, a little bit more about tubes anyways I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera up like this sorry if it's not steady but here here's your uh, here's your on button and you turn it on and there's no tubes on here and it gives you a uh, an option of four one two three four tubes and here is your selector so it's one two three four then right here is the bias current of the tube, like EO34s are minus 36. So are um, other tubes here, like 66s are minus 36 bias current. And then you have EO84s are minus 14. And then you have 7027s are minus 48. Then you also have 6L6s here, which is minus 48, 5881s, minus 48. 6550s, minus 48. And I think that the KT88s are a direct link to the 6550s. But the, the graph here, or the, the numbers for KT88s are not here. But I believe them to be minus 48. I have to look at the data sheet, I can't remember. So anyways, back to EL84s. The bias voltage is minus 36. And this tube tests the volts at, uh, excuse me, at, um, at 400 volts here. And then going down, the current range is between 27 IP and 55 I IP. And the transconductance here, it says greater than 5.0, which is really 5,000, greater than 5,000. So right now you see that it's on. It's on selector number one. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I could move my camera towards this way so you could get a copy of the tubes or a picture of the tubes, excuse me. And I'm going to zoom out again so you can get all four tubes. So here's tube number one. It's on, so let me turn it off. There will be no problem. So just find the little uh, keyway that's right here, or the groove. You know, just there it is, and then then I'll just rock it in slowly, gently, because they're expensive tubes. And then you find the keyway again by twisting it slowly, and then you find it, hold it on the base, and help push the base down so you won't have to twist the top and maybe screw up the tubes. All right. Here we go, tube number three, same deal, right? Tube number four, all right, here we go, we'll turn it on. You know what, I think I could get a better angle. Uh, I don't know if I should get it closer or not uh, to test these tubes, but uh, this should be fine. So anyways, you know what? Let me let me move the camera a little bit further, like that. Or maybe if I move now, this is fine. This is good. I think this is a good shot here. Like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it on. You guys remember that? It's on, it's on tube one minus thirty six. It's on off, and I'm gonna measure plate current. So this is gonna tell me if they're matched or not. I don't think they will be. But I have so many tubes that I, I, I'll for sure find a matched pair. So anyways, um, most, of my, uh, most of my tubes that I got, I got them from uh, eBay. And some sellers are, are new to selling tubes, so they'll post the tube for like starting bid 99 cents. And then I'll send them a private message that I'll give them 40 bucks for them. And they'll accept my offer. And they'll have like eight of them, and I'll buy all eight of them, or six of them, or four. Some of them, will, uh, some of them, won't sell it to me, and I offer them like a hundred bucks once or eighty dollars, and they said no. They they'll want the the bid or, or the the auction to continue, and I end up getting the tube like for sixty bucks. So, anyways, right now it's on. I turned on. When you turn this on, you're actually turning on the heaters, just like on a regular app. So inside right now the tubes are getting uh, the heaters are getting warm and I'll just check like this see if they're getting warm and the first 
on the first uh so I, I i'm gonna heat, i'm gonna get the tubes warm in uh three steps so right now i, I warm up the heaters then the first voltage will be 325 and the last voltage which would be 400 and again minus 36 tube number one plate current so i'm gonna go to 325 that should be enough time and tube one is giving me a 6.6 .6 reading uh, on the on the plate current, which is the IP, um, it's actually incorrect because you know it's 325, not 400. And technically, if you really want to uh, check the check the the IP on, on the tube, it's really like what the amp plate voltage is. So if the amp is running like 464, like which is very common for Marshall amplifiers, 100 watts, um, you would get 454 volts, 462 volts. And your IP would be um, larger, if you will. So, for example, here on 400, if I'm getting a plate voltage of 32, and you, then you check it at 462, it's going to be like 42 as, as opposed to, I'm sorry, if you get the plate voltage at 36, let's say, IP, and then you go to 462, you might get a reading of 42 IP because higher current. So you get a higher number. But it doesn't matter if I match them at 400. And let's say they're, they're, all of these four tubes are IP of 32. Well, whatever voltage I'm going to get on the app, they're all going to be the same. It won't matter. So now I'm going to go to 400. And just for the record, I'm getting 66.7 on here. All right. So tube number one is giving me a plate current of 29.3. And remember that the, the, the natural plate current of an EL34 is between 27 and 55 okay so that's tube number one right here there's a smart fuse uh, uh, it's like a, it's like a like it says a fuse if there's a uh, tube drawing too much current this light will go on and it'll tell me that one of these tubes is uh, too hot or there's a short and that means the tubes bad and then I'll put it here and it'll be a short circuit test if these lights go on, that means the tube's bad. So anyways, the tubes are still getting warm. Like I said, I had three steps. I turned it on here. The plate, the heaters get warm. And then 325 is the first step. And the plates are getting warm. And then 400. So it's it's still getting warm, actually. So 29.7 is the first IP of tube number one. Tube number two. Tube number two is 35 point four I don't know if you could see that let me see if I could zoom in see if you could see a picture of that okay I don't know if you could see it so if you if you can good if not sorry but anyways uh, that's tube number two 35 35 point uh, nine. Tube number three, 34.9, 34.7. And as they get hotter, they'll read uh, higher. So they're still they're still considered hot, but they're still considered cool. But at playable, uh, they're actually at playable temperature, if you will. They're warm enough to start playing. Uh, okay, well, this is tube number three, 34.7. Tube number four, 34.8. Tube number three. So it's getting warmer, so the IP is going higher. 34.7, so it's fluctuating between 34.7 and 34.8. 34.8. I'm going to go to tube number four. And tube number four is 37. Point four. Yeah, it's, this one's going to start to fluctuate to between 37.4 and 37.5. So, so far they're in playable range, right? They're above 27. 37.5, 37.4. I hope you could see that. So, anyways, here's uh, we just checked the IP. Now let's go to transconductance. Here's uh, here's my uh, 
my GM, which is trans conductance right here. So I'm going to turn the knob down. Then we're going to start off on tube number four because that's where I left off. Okay, so you guys remember that over greater than 5,000 is uh, considered good. Well, tube number four is 5,820. So 5820 is this tube. So is it is it a uh, new? Yes. NOS? Yes. Never used. Maybe for testing, but this is this tube is brand new. It's an XF2 brand new from I have to look at the date code because uh, I'm not really good at that. I have to call Jesse at audiotubes.com for some guidance for stuff like that. But like I said earlier, it's still getting warm. So it's 5820. And I'll probably go to 59. So this is tube number four, 5820. Tube number three, 5630. So right, they're all over 5,000, which is good. Brand new, 100% life. I think the seller put down like 11, 11, 16%, I think max. And I, on the tube tester, he he used was like 520. I'm sorry, not 520. Uh, 120 or something like that. I can't. I'm not good with those old school testers. That's why I bought this one. So tube number three. Remember, we're going backwards, back from from one to four. Now we're going four to one. So tube number three is 5620. Tube number two. It's 5,400. It's kind of like we're losing, <laughs> we're losing uh, transconductance on the way back to one. But anyways, uh, these tubes are good. These tubes are real good, actually. And I'm happy with them. These are, these are brand new. And then for six hundred and five dollars for eight of them, they normally go. If you're lucky, you get a pair for like one forty nine. For example, I bought some other ones a few months ago, and these here. These are a pair of uh, of uh, Sylvanias, and these were these are brand new, and I got these for like a hundred bucks. The same thing with these; they're in a different box, but I got these for a hundred bucks too, and they're brand new. Anyways, tube number two is fifty four sixty, which is good. Tube number one, wow, I was right. The transconductance keep keeps on dropping. Or dropping, excuse me. So uh, why I don't know, but th they're still good. So there you have it. I just tested four, four tubes. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, right now none of them are matched, but I still have four more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off. Or bring the, the voltage down and then I'm gonna remove these tubes turn it off right now and put the these other these other four tubes that I have here then I'm gonna put these on there and um, and I'm gonna get a different camera different ca camera angle excuse me so as of right now we're gonna wait a little bit for the tubes to cool down and um, test these new tubes here okay so I'm gonna turn the camera off and uh, there will be a part number three